Dear public in Izmir, I'm really honored to have my film Housemaid 2 screened at your festival in front of you, the audience. My name is Roxanne Stem. I am from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. I'm 34 now. And um, I thought it would be nice to tell you a little bit about me. I didn't go to film school, but I went to theater school instead. And afterwards, I worked in the biggest theater of Amsterdam, the same one where we shot the movie. So for me, this film is um, not only very personal because of the, um, the men-women dynamics, but also uh, because I am from theater and moved into film. So in this film, my film, those two worlds uh, come together a little bit. Um, what's also nice uh, to know is that I shot during the pandemic. So we had a lot of challenges because of that. And also a lot of luck because the theater is really expensive to hire uh, to shoot your film there. But because the theaters couldn't be open, um, I was lucky to, um, to film there with a discount on two days. We shot the whole movie in two days. What's also interesting is that actually the main actor, uh, he works at the biggest theater company in Amsterdam. So actually, normally he's also always the lead actor um, of this big theater company. And um, the location for him is very um, homey. It feels like home to him because uh, he actually plays in that particular theater a lot on that same very, uh, very same stage. Another fun fact is that the first scene where they rehearse on stage without their costumes, it was never in the script that um, me and my colleague wrote. Uh, I just came up with it a little bit before the shoot and I thought it would be really nice to have uh, a moment where we see them rehearsing. Uh, so it was never in the script. But in the end, I really love that we decided to shoot that anyway. We shot that scene uh, in like the last 40 minutes of our second shooting day. And in the end, you see quite a lot of it. And maybe you already saw this, but you will never see the actual audience of the theater play. Um, this was also due to the pandemic. First I thought, but I need a full, uh, a full room of people applauding. Uh, but in the end, uh, it got actually better in my opinion, because now we had to be creative how to solve this problem with the public. And now you will only hear them sometimes, but I hope you didn't miss them. Thank you so much for watching my film. And I wish you a very, very pleasant rest of the festival. Bye-bye.